this simulation is actually really easy to use. Go ahead and grab like a positive charge, show the electric field, and as you move the charge around, you can see what the field is like around a positive charge. Um, you can go ahead and grab an electric field sensor, and it kind of gives you an idea of the strength of the field at a location. Notice how it gets weaker farther away, stronger close in, and it shows you the direction of the electric field at any given point on here. You can compare that to the field of negative charges. Just go ahead and grab a negative charge and see that the only difference is the direction of the field is reversed. Otherwise, the properties are still the same. So what you should what you should do do is explore the fields due to the negative charges, positive charge collections. Um, what's a positive and negative charge electric field distribution look like? And uh, play around with this enough so that you'd be able to sketch a field of kind of a, a very simple kind of a given charge distribution, either two positive charges, two negative charge, positive and negative, um, you know, different things like that, and become comfortable with what electric fields look like. Um, there you go.